Okay, inequalities worked exam questions. n is an integer such that minus 2.3 is less than or equal to n, which is less than 5. If I think about this on a number line, put 0 here, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Oops. Okay, so minus 2.3, which is going to be about here. So that's one value, and it's going to be less than 5. So the value. So our value is going to be between these two things. It can include minus 2.3, but it doesn't include 5. Okay, so we're not including 5. So write down the smallest possible value of n, but n is an integer, that means whole numbers. So that's only these numbers here. So the smallest it could be is minus 2 can't be minus 3, so minus 2. Write down the largest possible value of n. Well, n can't be 5, doesn't include 5, so the next biggest number is 4. Okay, write down one issue that satisfies this inequality. Well, you might be tempted to go to 9, because 9, 7 is 63, but this has to be greater than 63, so anything greater than 63, so the first one is 10. You could pick anything bigger than 10. OK, you don't need to write that, you just need to put 10, or you can put 100, you can put 1,000. Fairly straightforward. OK, solving an equation. Now, inequality equations, generally you can just think about them as an ordinary equation, just do the same thing you would do in a normal equation, like adding 1 to both sides. So that gives us 3.8. And then dividing by 2. So we get 3.8 divided by 2. So x is less than 3.8 divided by 2 is 1.9. Now sometimes if you, if you this is bugging you, you might want to use an equal sign, but it's much better to use the sign that's given. So that if you do stop halfway through your work, and you'll get credit for it. If you did this as 2x equals 3.8 or 2x minus 1 equals 2.8 and did like that and did x equals uh, 1.9, stop there, it didn't actually change these to less than signs, which you can do, then you wouldn't get any marks because you've not actually answered the question. So this inequality, so uh, take away, you've got n's on both sides, so we take away 3n from both sides to get 4n minus 1 is less than 5. Then we add 1 to both sides to get 4n is less than 6 then divide by the 4 to get n equals, sorry, n is less than 6 over 4 which is 1.5 or 1 and a half. Okay, inequalities represent on the number line, like I showed you earlier. Um, the coloured in dot includes that value, the hollow dot doesn't include that value. So write down the integers that satisfy the inequality shown above, so minus 2 is okay. Minus 1, 0, and 1. 2 is not included. Solve this inequality. So take away x from both sides. Always move the smaller x when you're doing trying to solve equation type things. And then take away the 12. Get 2 is less than or equal to 2x. Then divide by the 2 to get 1 is less than or equal to x. Now that's fine, but really should, we should switch it around so we have x is greater than or equal to 1. We'll just swap those two over, but we must turn the sign around. Write down a non integer value that satisfies both the inequality diagram and part b. So we need something that's greater than or equal to 1 and is in this list of numbers. Well, the only number there is the number 1. Work out the integer values of n which satisfy this. So when you've got multiple inequalities, we're looking for the values between these two things but we just need the letter n, not 5n, so we need to divide by 5, so 30 divided by 5 is 6, 15 divided by 5 is 3. So the integer value is what they're allowed for that, so we start at 3, that's allowed because including 3, 4, 5, but not 6, because it's, it's going to be less than 6. On this question, we are just going to add the 15 to both sides to get 4n is greater than 15, then we divide by 4, get n is greater than 15 over 4 which is going to be 3 and 3 quarters or 3.75 either of those will do for 2 marks 
write down the value of positive odd integer that satisfies both this and that. So we've got those values there and this equation here, which one, what value satisfy both? So it's got to be greater than 3.75, it's got to be positive and it's got to be odd, so that's going to be the number 5. So this inequality, take away the 3, to get 5x is less than 15, divide by the 5 to get x is less than 3. Uh, y is an integer, write down solutions of the, the inequality, so we've got 2y there, so we Let's find out 1y, 0 divided by 2 is still 0, minus 6 divided by 2 is minus 3. So we're going from minus 3, minus 2, 1, but not 0 because, oh, minus 1, but not 0 because it's not included. The minus 3 is included because it's got the equal sign, but not the 0. So this inequality, take away the 5, 3x is less than or equal to 11. So x is less than or equal to 11 divided by 3. So just to uh, put that mixed number, so we get 3 and 2 thirds, or 3.6 recurring. Much easier to write it as a fraction though. Write down the integer that satisfies that. So divide by 2, we get 2.5 is less than x, which is less than 3.5. And the only integer, integer value is the whole number 3. Okay, so we're giving it all in one go now, so I've got to solve that equation. 4x minus 3 is greater than or equal to 7. So we add 3. So we solve that inequality, not an equation. 4x is greater than or equal to 10. Divide by 4, x is greater than or equal to 2.5 or 2.5. This one, 6x plus 2 is less than 32. Take away the 2 to give 6x is less than 30. Divide by the 6 to get x is less than 5. So we need values where x is greater than or equal to 2.5. Um, x is an integer. So the values that are greater than 2.5, that's 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. But less than 5, um, we would go 4, 3, 2, 1, and so on. So which ones are in both? The 3 and the 4.